Hi Scorpio, and um, this reading could resonate with anyone who connects in with Scorpio in some way. Even if you're just curious about Scorpio, you could find some interesting things here. Um, so Scorpio, um, let's go ahead and get the cards down on the table. Um, in addition, I am doing uh, personal readings again, Capricorn. So if there's anything I can do to help you, uh, feel free to look uh, um, at the link in the video description box uh, uh, um, to get to the store. Okay. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what we have here. Starting off with the Eight of Cups. Moving to the Ten of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Knight of Swords. Now we have the King of Pentacles in the second row. With the Queen of Cups and with the Five of Wands. The bottom row, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Moon. A little different, um, a little different spread here, but this is how the energy is coming out, Scorpio. And I felt in um, in my time that I take um, when I'm just sitting there and preparing for your reading, I felt um, this kind of energy uh, coming over me, Scorpio. So um, this is what you're embodying for the week. Um, and this is the story that's happening to you and around you. So let's go ahead. This is a bigger week, Scorpio. I have to say um, this reading might go out a couple of weeks for you. It, it might have already been happening for you for a little while. I feel like this energy is big. Uh, this this week, you're in the Nine of Pentacles as the Queen of Pentacles with the moon. So um, this is a grounded energy that we see here, Scorpio, with the Queen of Pentacles quite strong in you. And this is uh, looking at finances, looking at um, details of finances, managing money, managing uh, expenses, managing your income. And I do feel like uh, you're looking at what you're doing and you're looking, looking at, you could be looking at book work. You could be looking at, uh, taxes. You can be looking at your expenses, uh, coming up. Um, but I do feel like you're in the, in some sort of a planning phase. Uh, very diligent. You're being very diligent this week with financial matters. And, and I feel like the future, Scorpio, uh, you, you've made some changes here. You're in the process of making changes. You really know that as you're, you're making some big, um, you, you have made a lot of progress in how you're setting yourself up for experiencing wealth and security in the future. Like I think a lot of this group have been really uh, looking at ways to steadily increase their well-being, like this step and then this step and then this step. And then, you know, I mean, I do think there's been some, some progress made here with the King of Pentacles. Now there could be a King of Pentacles here, Scorpio, around you, a masculine energy. Um, again, they're very grounded. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Sorry, guys. I, I just go one card at a time. It's sometimes it's too hard for me to see everything all at one time and for it to really come into the story. Um, we have counterparts here, Scorpio. Uh, th this is about finding strength. If you're a single person, this is having strong balance in, in what you're doing, where you're looking at the details of, of each day, but also keeping the bigger picture in mind. It could be for you as a single person that way. For others of you, there are two of you that 
that are both fulfilling certain roles in, in this situation with the King of Pentacles, which would be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn type of behavior and personality. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles, uh, something that you are um, as a feminine. And I know most of my audience is a feminine audience, but we have someone here in a feminine grounded way with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is looking at the specifics in the matter. And we have a King of Pentacles here masculine energy that's looking at the far out or the bigger the bigger story so you have it covered here whether you're a single person scorpio or whether you're with someone in this journey you have it covered um you have you have you, this is balance it's like the chariot energy that i feel here in as in a nutshell Scorpio, I mean, you've reached a certain amount of independence here. You know what's good for you and how to really manage. And I, I really feel like you're looking at, into the future, realizing like the future could be uncertain. And I think in many ways, Scorpio, like it's uncertain in a beautiful way. It's it's uncertain. There There is uncertainty here. Uh, but you're looking at it in a way of management. Like, how are you going to manage it? How are you going to do it? Um, what will happen? It's, it's an abundant kind of mystery rather than a um rather than like a, a a confession or it's not it doesn't feel that way to me it feels like okay we have a lot of unknown here um how are we going to take our skills the money that we have the abilities that we have in planning and techniques and strategies and methodologies and all of that and how are we going to manage this situation as we're moving out in the future i think many ways scrubber you could be in some sort of leadership position or in a leader in your own life for one for for most for many of you like a leader of your own life having a certain amount of independence and self-reliance here uh planning for the future in some big way i i honestly and the future is almost in it's a mystery but it's it's a it's a mystery that has you excited about life um Okay, so that's what we're getting here, and that's a bigger story here of what's happening as as you enter into this week, Scorpio. You're in the eight of eight of cups with the king of pentacles over the top. So you have made some changes here in the things that you do, the people that you're around, the the projects that you uh, commit to, the the relationships that you foster, right? The the way that you nourish your love life perhaps you know it could be so many different things and there there are changes that you've made here that have helped you to find simple happiness um this talks about beauty and simplicity to me scorpio and really uh, understanding what are those qualities in the third dimension those assets uh, those luxuries, those enjoyments of life, like what are those for you and how much do they cost and what is the bigger picture of the path that I'm on, you know, as far as expenses and, and what is needed in the future, uh, because I just feel like it, it's really about simplicity, understanding what those simple basic uh, needs and desires are of this family that you have or this work group that you have or this friend group that you have and really kind of connecting into okay how do we continue to build this in a way that is going to be abundant for everyone that's going to be best for everyone because all of a sudden Scorpio it seems so much simpler now than it did before and, and in many ways, it's, it's then it brings in a new complication of, okay, now I know what my priorities are. Uh, this is all my decisions that I can make. And now all of a sudden, it's like it's on my shoulders now. Oh, shit. Now, now, um, now I can start manifesting, Scorpio. Now it's like a, a more of a manifesting energy here. And how best to do it, how best to bring it to life how best to manage it. It's, it's about management of self and management of property how we discipline ourselves, what processes do we put in place, what savings techniques do we have, what kind of diversity do we have in our investments, um, how how do we project our work income moving forward as, as we, you know, how are we projecting that? All of those things um, is, what I'm, is what I'm seeing here, Scorpio. Uh, King and Queen of Pentacles, this is about... Uh, First and foremost, creating a firm foundation and then building in the systems of efficiency and um, reliability that we have around us and the resources we have in around us to continue to grow that and um, bring in further abundance for us and further success. 
So yeah, this is financial planning in, in many ways. Scorpio, for many of you, this is financial planning in one way or another. I uh, could have to do with homes. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm stuck here because it's really beautiful. It's a beautiful feeling and it does have a lot of success, uh, success, um, energy mixed in here. In the middle of the, the reading, we have a queen of cups. So there, there could also be a queen of cups here, a sister or a friend or a mother or an auntie or someone that, um, is around you. Um, that's connecting in uh, to this story. I think for many of you, this is about finding your individual enjoyments of life while still managing to keep your your programs in intact. <laughs> like, how do you do this that you're planning to do? How do you accomplish all of these goals? And how do you manage yourself well and keep within a certain um, self path, a self-driven path, how do you do that while still, you know, finding individual happiness and fulfillment and, and being able to nourish the self? It, it really is about nourishment of the self because it's the Queen of Cups here connected into the King of Cups. And we do know that with the Queen of Cups, she is nourished by security and safety. And she loves to have a plan. I mean, there's nothing that helps our emotional stability more than knowing that we're safe and secure in the things that we do, including the love that we give and the love that we receive. Um, so this is a really about a, a foundation that has gotten um, quite strong and now like looking on how to, you know, invest more into this. Um, I would say as the week goes through, there's something here that you are doing, Scorpio. Uh, you're, you're stepping forward with some sort of, uh, it's, a, it's a six of wands. And the six of wands, it doesn't have to be something huge like taking on a new job or, you know, it could be for some of you, you could absolutely be making some up and out energy changes like, Okay, I'm being introduced in a new way, or I have this new role, and, and please stand up and introduce yourself to the group, and it could be something like that, Scorpio. For others of us, it, it could just be like realizing that there's something that we can do in a situation uh, that that's available for us, Scorpio. Like it's it's in our, it's something that we can do. It's something that is a talent of ours or something, and we can kind of pick that up and move forward with it in a way that... Um, for us brings us quite a lot of happiness, but it also kind of propels us into the future in a, in a rather dynamic way. That's what the six of wands is. It's kind of becoming much more dynamic about your situation. I think you're able to do that, Scorpio, since you have a process here that, that really has seemed, it, it, it seems to be working honestly because you have such balance here and strength and you have the nine of pentacles. So we do see that there's, um, so, some freedom here to choose and, and that's really beautiful. And so whatever it is here that you have, this freedom, these freedoms that you have, Scorpio, I think that you are, um, looking to how do you put those freedoms and those strategies best to work. And there's something here that you're kind of stepping forward in, in a way that's, uh, that you can now, because you have this path or you have this system, it's like, it's released you from having to be so tight about it or having to be so worried about it or having to really have to watch it all the time. There's something here that you're relaxing a little bit and you're saying, okay, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to do it. And this could be so, so much as like writing a letter to someone or introducing yourself to someone or, um, moving forward with some sort of, you know, project that you've had. It's just that you have the confidence now. And I believe that you have the confidence because you have, um, you have the tools around you, you have the team around you that really has given you uh, an extra boost here, Scorpio. And it's also in your own management of yourself, of your expenditures, of the way you value money, of the way that you value the work that you do and the time that you put into your work. Um, I love this energy and it's like my brain and my energy wants to keep coming back here to the King and Queen and the Knight of Pentacles together and thinking about the future. It really is um, quite beautiful, I have to say, because once you have a, a foundation down and you have a strong platform on which to have confidence, then the future becomes a beautiful mystery. It becomes a tantalizing call um, in, into, into something that's an unexperienced, right? All of a sudden that old spirit from within, that pioneer that within, the, the author within, um, 
uh, the, the humanitarian within, the mother within, all of these qualities that we have within us, they can kind of start to come out when we have the confidence and the stability that we see here. So the moon becomes something that becomes tantalizing. Um, whereas before, when we don't have the management, we don't have the control, the moon can really uh, destabilize us, even realizing that the future is coming in, right? But now that you have this plan and you, you have it seem like, You've made some really beautiful changes here and hit a really nice um, high watermark on this togetherness that now this moon is starting to really uh, have this seductive pull to it and it becomes a different feeling now. Um, so you are kind of moving forward here with something that is uh, very passionately, passionately something that is bringing you a lot of happiness and well-being as you're doing it. Now, you do have a five of wands here, which is quite interesting. And you have a knight of swords. I feel like there's some sort of intersection that's happening here this week. Two people coming together in some sort of um, perhaps a, an an argument or perhaps there's a different way. Um, I feel like as you're moving forward, Scorpio, with this project or whatever this is that you're feeling much more confident and you're able to kind of step into this with more of a commitment or there's a more energy, more, more of what was before you have it enough to move forward with it. And as you do that, there's somebody around you that has some sort of opinion or uh, maybe a different way of doing it. There's somebody here around you that is you're going to connect in with that you're going to have to kind of decide, okay, which way do we do it? Or what do you think? Because it feels like there's, there's like a, you could have a way of doing it and you could have fill out a piece of paperwork and realize, oh, oh shoot. Like, uh, I, I, I forgot about this. I'm going to have to call on it. There's some kind of information you connect with that, that, um, brings in a little bit of complication, but I don't see it's any problem because the six of wands energy is an energy that can adapt. It's a wands, it's fire. Fire can kind of adapt and, and recover quite easily. And, and there's a perseverance that fire can have. Knight of swords, it's not a, it's, it's not a, it's an air energy. So it's something that will be, um, it, it will come fast and you'll be able to, to figure it out. I feel quickly. It's just a quick thing that will hit you and you'll just have to kind of fix it or deal with it um, here at the end of the week that's coming in. So I don't think it's going to be anything that's going to stop you. It's just going to maybe complicate it just a little bit. And I think that's fine with you, Scorpio, because you have um, you have this. And I think this is the um, it, this is like the magic ticket here. judgment energy. There's probably something that needs to be done a little bit better or judgment energy. Sometimes it's just so simple. It's like, oh shoot. Yeah, I do need to fix that little thing. It could, and then you have to go back and maybe fix something somewhere. Uh, I, um, it's over the five. So the five energy just brings something into a clearer place. This message that's going to come in is going to change a little bit of what you're doing. It's a little bit of what you're doing. It's a judgment energy. So it's something that just needs to be clarified or maybe said a little bit differently or something. Uh, the six of wands isn't going to be, it's not going to be a problem for the six of wands, six of swords. It's going to bring clarity. It's going to bring a little bit more efficiency. So, um, uh, Scorpio, don't give in to what this information is, but, but it's going to, it, but you might have to like incorporate it or, clarify something or or a change some sort of itinerary in some way um it's just something that comes in it's going to bring it's it's just gonna it's going to be fine it's going to be good it's a chariot it's always it, this energy is moving forward and your team is making sure it's staying balanced and it's staying on an even keel that's why these things happen so i think it, it's a good week scorpio it's also kind of intense i would have to say you have this queen king and queen here with the ten of cups and the six of wands, it's going to be intense. And the moon is, it's, oh gosh, it's so beautiful though, Scorpio. Oh gosh. I think it's going to be a beautiful week. I, I think you're going to enjoy the, the week that's incoming for you, Scorpio. Okay, my friends, I am going to move to the extended now. We'll carry this storyline forward in through, oh, for the four, next four to six weeks, in through the middle or the end of March um, for this group of Scorpios. We'll also look at some money energy and we'll look at love energy as well. Um, 
uh, for this group of Scorpios. So for those of you that are interested in following the energy forward, I'll meet you over on the other side. Um, that There's a link in the video description box that will send you to exactly to this extended reading. And also I am doing personal readings. So those of you that um, need any help with anything, I'm happy to help you sit down and really look into the energy for you. And uh, the link to the store for those different types of readings are in a link in the video description box as well. All right, my friends, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure.